What's up guys, it's Crimson Darth Maul, and I'm with a new video series called Star Wars Talk, and I'm going to bring up discussion questions, debates, just anything Star Wars, and it's going to be a great time, so stick around and listen. For this video, I want to talk about Ahsoka and Rebels. Now, Ahsoka is one of my favorite characters. I'm not one of those bandwagon fans. I always thought she was kind of cool from the Clone Wars. And I want to give you guys a quick spoiler warning, so I'll give you a few uh, seconds to click off the video, because I'm going to be talking about Season 2, because I have seen the premiere at Celebrate. Now, we already know she's a leader in the new rebellion or the rebels so that's a very cool rule and i'm just glad that they didn't let vader take over her life or the empire take over her life now another question i have Corey and i already talked to ashley about this one of the questions we asked ashley was do you think ahsoka knows that anakin is vader her response was that if she knows she's trying to block it out like she doesn't want to know that anakin is vader but if you've seen this premiere her face kind of like just looks like she knows like just kind of like a light clicks and she knows that vader is Anakin. Now we've all seen this poster, Hasbro has handed us out their booth at Celebration and it's Vader versus Ahsoka. So we know this fight's gonna happen, we just don't know when in Rebels. I would guess the end of season two or the end of season three. Now when this fight goes down, we know Ahsoka's powerful, but Vader is on a whole nother level. Like he lifted up an ATDP and just made it look like it was nothing. Now there's a few ways I could see Ahsoka leaving Rebels. One way, she sacrifices herself similar to what Kanan did at the end of the season one finale and how he got captured. And the second way is just a death by Vader. I mean, and she could be like the true spark of the rebellion and be kind of like a martyr toward their cause. And Chris actually gave me that idea, but I think that's like, that would be a very good way to end her as a character. I just hope she's, uh, I mean, cause if you know Vader, repercussions are going to happen. He's not just going to let you walk away. Like look what happened to Obi-Wan in A New Hope. Also, Vader even said the apprentice lives, the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker. So that shows too that he he thinks of himself as a different person. Also, he's going to be very angry that she betrayed him. Also, for Rex, Wolf, and Gregor, we know they're back, and I don't think Vader's going to be very happy with them as well, especially Rex. I think it's just going to bug Vader too, and he's not going to be able to rest until the demise of Ahsoka. Another character I've been very curious about is what's Obi Wan doing? Did he help Ahsoka? Is contacting Qui-Gon? Like, what is he up to? And I really hope Rebels dives into a little bit. So what do you guys think is happening? Uh, do you guys think I'm on point? Do you guys like these videos? Let me know what you guys think. And what do you guys think will happen to Ahsoka? So just comment below. And what do you guys want me to talk about?